I love winding the nasturtiums through this fence. I do it every morning. And I'm accompanied by the bees. Look at that. Pollinating the nasturtiums. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's water being drunk out of one of the rain barrels. But what's really cool is so that they sow their own seeds. I only planted the nasturtiums here once. And since then, they've been sowing themselves. I still have to get this sign back to the farming with nature um, people some stage I'll do it but this is uh, with the Annabelle the big white Annabelles in the background and the orange nasturtiums sorry these are in the foreground foreground and background I got them mixed up these Annabelles are in the foreground with the nasturtiums in the background and look at this bees love this and my lilies have produced seeds. So I'm waiting for these to ripen. They're not ripe yet. There, you can see the tracks of a slug or a snail. So, so the Annabelles are looking fantastic. And I love that contrast between them in the foreground and them in the background. <laughs> Sometimes I just feel I don't really know the English language. And then these, as you heard the cock crowing, these are kind of slightly going over. These are the white um, verbena. But you can see the lady's mantle in the background's doing really well. And that was from scattering seeds way back when. And then this evening primrose is doing really well. And I love the forest pansy tree right there. Now soon, any minute now, this is going to start flowering. It's passion flower. Here I've got yarrow and oxide daisies and marjoram and more yarrow and and these are going to start blooming. I love these. These are lovely blue and they're going to look great when, see this pink rose is a climbing rose. And it looks fabulous. Mind you, I do have to do a bit of pruning. I have to prune the dead bits out. But this floof of blue is going to happen soon. So it's a rotation of different um, plants here. Yeah, there's some grasses. A lot of times I pull that up and feed it to the chickens. So there are the chickens in there. But this is everlasting sweet pea. It doesn't smell, but it has lovely flowers. But yeah... <laughs> They, hopefully, okay, this is the leftover Montana clematis is over, but the passion flower should be flowering soon. So, oh, and this is thyme, my medicinal thyme that I'm always using. And there, there's some uh, columbine. These are the seeds that I love shaking seeds everywhere. And then over here, look at the pheasant eye is thriving. This is, or pheasant berry. This stuff is just loving it. I planted this a few years ago. The pollinators love it as well. And here's the evening primroses, which moths love. So as you can see, I'm sowing it wherever I can, shaking seeds and oxide daisy seeds. So it's all getting there. And this is my uh, fennel is going into flower. And the artichoke, look, it's just about to go into flower. Then out here is, um, this is my little additional orchard. And you can see the plants that I sowed are thriving. Well, the apple trees are thriving as well. 
but that mixture of vetch and phacelia and uh i can't remember the last the other one oh flip sanfoin uh are really taking off which is fantastic and you can only imagine what all those nitrogen fixers are going to do to help these trees grow you can hear the electric fence going tick 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 anyway that is a little tour of a portion of the garden this stuff hens love i know it's not called um hen bit but i always call it hen bit because the hens love pecking at it and they love it you can see anything that's close to that they can get their heads through they eat now i do feed them lots of herbs as well and weedings plant weedings and things like that so they're not starving at all so that is the parking area garden dry garden i definitely have to cut back a lot of these daisies though they're going to be seeding and i want to spread the seeds in other locations so, I love that contrast to that yellow with the dark purple. And these chattery people are the swallows. These are the swallows that just fledged out. Some of them anyway. You can see there's a few along the line. So they're collecting and chattering and feeding. All the babies, all the teenagers come out in the morning and gather on the tele, on the uh, electric lines. Listen to them chatter away. I love hearing them chatter. That is summer to me is the chatter of swallows. I'm not going to do anything to you, silly cat. Look at this, the nasturtiums are coming out the bottom. So you creep up the Annabelles and there's the fox and cubs. And look at this, this is a hoverfly pollinator. Oop, there were two hoverfly pollinators. It just is gorgeous. I do so love this contrast. No, this is magic bucket is not for you. No, it's not for you guys. It's for these guys. Mom! Mom! Woo! Mom! Woo! Mom! Mom! Good girl, Brindle. Okay, that's everyone. Close this.
They can graze there for two minutes. I had to close the gates in case people decided to jump that small fence or jump that small fence and go where they weren't meant to be. Now I've got to go back up here and bring the lambs and hoggets into the yard and separate that yo that started getting all milky for the lambs and shear some more lambs before the storm comes. We're getting get lots of rain, which we will very much appreciate. Look at these girls waiting for me at the gate because they know the magic bucket is right there. Isn't that right, ladies? Okay, I'm gonna need two hands. So I have to put the phone down before I open the gate, and go through with the magic bucket. Okay, some are in here and some are over here. So I split the group. And uh, now to get the shears and start working on lambs. And this old lady is gonna get taken out because, oh, she, is, she isn't milking. I thought she was, or maybe she is. I better check, be, do a better check on her just to be sure. You can see some of the ones that I've already shorn, this little girl. Okay, time to get shearing and get stinky. Isn't that right? <laughs> okay, between callers and batteries running out, I've only done four and a half or four and a quarter of these lambs. Ooh. And I have to stop for lunch. So I'm gonna let them out for a little while. And it's starting to rain. So they're gonna go and graze in here. I haven't finished the punk rock hairdo. But there we go. There's one, two, three, four that had fly strike out of the six or seven I've done so far, I think. Anyway, they can settle there while I have lunch and hopefully there won't be much rain. If there's too much rain, I can't do any more shearing and they'll have to go back to the field they were in. Come on! Supposed to go that way. Come on. Go on. Come on. Go on. Go on. Out of girls. As usual, there are some stragglers. Come on! Come on, babies! Brindle, 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 come here! Come here! Brindle, come on! Come on, babies! Come on! Come on, babies! Go on, get back. Go on. Come on! Good boy, Java. Uh-oh. These guys are not gonna come back down here. Oh, how boring. Come on, dogs. Come here. Come on, Ink. They're being annoying. Inca, 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 no, no, no. Come back here. You're turning them the wrong way. Come here, come here. Come out here, come on. Good girl, come on, come on. Good girl, out a girl. Now, you guys go the other way. Go on. Go on. Go on. Stay there, Brindle. 
Go on. Java, easy. Hopefully they're running down the hill now. Hup. a girl, come on. Hup. Good girl. No, oh, I left these behind. Java, got them in. Hopefully. Java, leave them. Okay. I can't do any more shearing today. It's the end of the day and the fleeces are wet because of the rain we had. Come on. Come on, Ink. I'm going to close the gate unless you hurry up. Come on. Good girl. Okay. I'll open this up. going that way now. Come on, girls! Woo! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! There's a whole load of them still in there. I'll have to herd them out now. Hey, babies, come on. Go on. Come on. Hey, come on. Come on. Hey, Maya, Java, no, leave it. Inca, Java. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Okay. Inca, be nice. They're all down here. And they're gonna go through the gates. Come on, Brindle. Come on, Java. Come on. Okay. Now, got to sort the gates. That gate's open. Open this gate and close that gate. Okay. Open this gate, let these guys out. And tomorrow I'll do some more. Come on, babies! Come on! Woo! Come on! Come on! You're very lame. One. 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 
Nope. Good girl. There we go. Hey, baby. No, no, no. Close this gate now. Okay, I'm gonna open the gate for you guys so that you can, There, this is just this little gate here so they can get to their water. Otherwise, you're staying there. Sorry. Having a really good drink of mineral juice. Java wants to know what the lamb is getting to eat. That Java doesn't get to eat. Anyway, she's one of the ones, or rather, he's one of the ones that I just managed to shear the backside and the battery died of the clippers. There's a few of those. The batteries only last for a certain amount of time. Okay. Now to let you guys in here. Oh, there's my doves flying up there. Hey, ladies. How are you? They think they're all going to go. <laughs> they think they're all going to go through the next gate. Afraid not, ladies. You're stuck on this side of the gate. How are you a little bit? Yeah, it's just not fair, is it? It's just not fair. Oh, yes. Is that good? Does that feel good? Oh, yes. That feels good. Oh, having a back scratch. Just what a knee likes. Okay. They're all very annoyed with me. They thought they were gonna get a new field. Not the case, ladies, nor you guys. You guys are gonna be stuck there. I've now gotta close these gates. See, they love itching themselves on the stone wall. Oh, and me. Isn't that right, little bit? You love using me as a scratching post. Okay. Job done for the evening. Now to retire for the day. So much done.